fine. I'm good. Siento mal por mi compañero de equipo porque me estaba esperando para darme un abrazo. Y yo le dije, espérate, tengo que venir aquí. Y fui a de a Beltré. La verdad que ha sido una persona que hemos jugado en contra, una persona que siempre ha respetado, que ha subido nuestra bandera de alto. Me siento súper agradecido y bendecido de compartir este momento con él también. Y nuestro país que está de fiesta, la República Dominicana, está esperando, tú sabes, topar. That's as emotional as I've ever seen, right? But it seems about that. Why do you think this moment got you? Why? Because of this. You know, my beautiful family, you know. Um, after the Lord, I, that's who I play for. That's, you know, they've been walking through this, through this journey, through the ups and downs, and to the cries, and to the hurt, to the injuries, and, you know, knowing that uh, they have my back, and having them, uh, you know, understand in this game, like this, being part of this history, uh, means a lot to me, everything pretty much to me. So having them understand, uh, you know, supporting me and being here, that's why, uh, you know, knowing that I, that I, that they were here. And it's amazing how God works. I mean, this is could have, it could have happened last week in San Luis, which probably would be awesome. I mean, but to allow it to happen tonight, having my family, friends, and people that really care about me, uh, it's even special for me. Well, you've always said that you don't, you're not a numbers guy, but to be in that club with Hank and, and Barry Bonds and, and Bain. Can you just put that in perspective, what that means to be in that elusive company? I mean, it's pretty special. What I think I shared with you guys last week, uh, I think when, my, when it's really going to hit me when I'm down, I 
the end of the season, you know, retire and probably a month or two after that, like I can look at the numbers and, you know, don't get me wrong, I know where my place is stand in this game, but I think since you day one when I made my debut, it was never about numbers, it was never about chasing numbers or anything, it was always about winning championship and try to get better in this game. And I had so many people that taught me the right way early in my career, and that's how I have carried myself you know, for 22 years uh, that I've been in the big leagues. So, uh, you know, that's why I really, I really don't focus on, on the numbers. Uh, I will one day, uh, but not right now because I'm still active in this game. And, you know, I, I guess I just don't want to disrespect, you know, what's happening, what's around me and my teammates, you know, and really I don't want to do it. 22 years later, you know, just because I'm close to hitting a milestone like I did tonight. Uh, when, you, when you crashed the play, um, you went right to Adrian Beltre, which was a reminder that you were the first Dominican to do this to cross this threshold. Where, where is that important? It's really important because it's somebody that I respect, somebody that I play a lot of games in this stadium against him, and, you know, somebody that's going to be probably our next Hall of Fame, you know two or three more years. Uh, you know, the way that he carried our flag, uh, the, he, the way that he went about it, the way that he had open doors, you know, for so many of these players right now. And I felt like, you know, he was there in batting practice today. We had a little talk and, you know, I told him, I'm like, man, I want to do this for our country too because I know they they wanted us so bad. And to be able to see him, I knew where he was sitting, so it was really easy by the second time. I, you know, right away I went over there. I just want to share that moment with him because I think he would have done the same thing uh, if I would have been in the stand. And Albert, you brought up joy a couple of times, both out there on the field, but also one of the first things you said here in your family. How do you feel that on the field? How do you feel? Does that give you a lift? Have you felt that joy kind of lift you, or lift you through these games? Uh, I think when you have an organization that has your back, which the Dodger organization did give me that opportunity and they have my back and believe in me knowing that uh, I was able to help that, that organization a lot last year with the role that I was given. And it opened the door for me to really have the Cardinals going after me because I think, you know, I think I was talking to Friedman and Doc early in batting practice. If they wouldn't give me that opportunity, I don't think I would be seeing here today or you guys wouldn't be seeing the history tonight. And because of that, and the way that they respect me, and, and the way that, that the whole coaching staff and the whole organization from the owner to all the way down, I mean, it was just a pretty amazing moment and allowed me to really find that joy for this game, being in the postseason. I was like, you know what? I think if we, there's a team that can give me an opportunity, I want to I wanna play again because I felt that, that I can continue to play. And <clears throat> I, can, I feel like I can continue to play if I wanted to next year because I, whatever I put my mind, into, but you know what? This, this kid or this family behind me now is more important to me, and uh, I want to be focused on that, and uh, that's why I made my decision in uh, spring training uh, just to say that this is my last year because I knew that if a moment like this would happen, I knew I was going to change my mind, and I, I didn't want that pressure in my life. What does it mean that this happened on the anniversary of the first Dominican to play in the major leagues? really didn't know that, but <laughs> to tell you the truth, if I tell you that I knew that, uh, I would not be lying to you. Of it. Well, uh, just to think about that, 66 years ago. Yeah. God, is, God works his, his thing in amazing ways sometimes that we don't understand. So I'm just glad that I was able to do it tonight and it's all right. Albert, congratulations. You've spoken so much about the emotion and things that have mattered so much to you. But on the night that's been so monumental, what would you remember most about it? Tonight? Uh, I don't know, I guess the ceremony, the game, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm still, remember, this has just happened a few hours ago, so I'm still shocked, I'm still like living the moment pretty much and celebrating. I think tomorrow, maybe in Milwaukee, you, you ask me the same question, I might be able to give you a better answer, but right now I just, you know, I mean, I can close my eye and just seeing that pitch and just hit it out of the ballpark and, and like just running around the base of the things that was going through my head. So right now, just enjoying the moment with my family, my teammates, you know, and 
my country, the Dominican Republic, is celebrating the people back in San Luis. I mean, the fans here and the stand has just been pretty amazing, you know, my last year and the support that they have given me so far is uh, just unbelievable. Did you get the ball, Albert? Uh, what's the status there? I don't know. Like I've told you guys, souvenirs are for the fans. I don't have any problem. If they want to keep it, they can. They can. If they want to give me back, the baseball is great. But at the end of the day, man, I don't focus on material stuff. I think I got a bad the uniform, helmet, you know, things that are special to me at the end of the day. You know, I think that's why the fans come here to have a special uh, moment of history. So if they will, if they want to keep that base bump, I don't have any problem with that. Albert, does this remind you of 500 where you were too short and then you hit two in the same game? Was it, did it, did it have any similarities at all? Or? No, um, no, to tell you the truth, it's not like I'm coming in and say, man, I need a D2 tonight. Or like, uh, I know that one knife, you swing the bag, right? I mean, you might hit one, two, three. I mean, I've done it before. It's not like I haven't done, you know, a few homers in the game. You know, I've done it so many times in my career. But um, like I say, we were just struggling first game of the series. Uh, we're trying to lack a, you know, one in a division. And I mean, the way their, our team respond tonight against probably one of the best teams in the game right now is pretty special. Uh, they kind of give me a little shower, a little toast, and <laughs> they put me in this laundry basket. Then to Adam and Jerry Molina, imagine me jumping in there like I struggle getting out. But <laughs> they just give me a little water, uh, beer shower, and all that. And just, just enjoying the moment, you know. I got to share a little bit with them, you know, like how special this is um, to me and to my family. And, you know, and to be able to do it with this uniform is even better, you know. And then do it here at Dodger Stadium, you know, where, you know, I spent some great moments last year. Albert, uh, Phil Bickford was on the other end of your historic home run tonight. Um, we were just talking and he was saying how amazing it was to be your teammate last year and just how what a great person and teammate you are. Uh, and he's looking forward to speaking with you, whether it's tonight or tomorrow. What are you going to say to him when you see him? I'm just going to tell him, thank you for hanging that slide. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, all those young guys last year to me, I say it was just, <clears throat> you know, I started a new family over there, um, you know, going from the Angels to uh, Cardinals Angels and then now here. I knew some of those guys there, but. You know, those times, that time that I spent there, five and a half months, I believe, in putting the playoff, man, you just, you just get to know them. You get to build a good relationship and, and car a really, really great, great group of guys. I mean, I would just add on, you know, I didn't come here to try to change the clubhouse or anything like that. I was just having a great time to enjoy, you know, uh, that the Dodgers believe in me to give me another opportunity and my job. You know, whatever I was in the lineup was just try to help the ball club to win. And whenever I wasn't in the lineup, just you know, shot with the young guys. And he was one of the guys that I that I shot a lot last year. And Julio and Lux and you know Billinger, a bunch of those guys. And and I hope you know that I did let the mark you know for those guys because I think at the end of the day there were so many players that did the same for me, especially early in my career when I was in St. Louis. And I think, uh, you know, for me, that's the mark that I want to continue to leave in that legacy, especially right now with this organization, with the Cardinals organization, and all the young players that we have up and down with the minor leagues. Albert, other than the people who are here with you tonight, who do you think is out in the world most proud of you today? Mm, well, obviously, my family in Florida, my grandma, you know, my aunt, my dad, you know, all my family in the Dominican Republic. You know, uh, but I think uh, yeah, somebody that comes to my mind when I was in the dugout was mm -hmm. one of my closest friends, Fernando Orango, who passed away several several years ago of cancer. Uh, he would have been the first guy that would have got that test message and telling me congratulations. So I know that he's looking down and smiling because he was somebody that believed in me in 1999 when I got drafted. Used to work with Tampa Bay, and uh, 
I did a tryout and they didn't <laughs> draft me and he ended up leaving the organization because of that he was really upset and he ended up working for the Milwaukee Brewers and then he ended up working with the Cardinals too and it was somebody that I considered almost my dad somebody that really really uh, I enjoyed spending my time with him uh, whether, it a, whether it was in spring training when I was there in Florida for six six or seven weeks or, or Arizona he used to come and watch me for a week and we just talked baseball it was just somebody that really taught me a lot mentally uh, because I believe this game is more mentally than physically and uh, you know and he was one of those close friends uh, that really worked with me uh, with me through a lot of my success and, and a lot of my failure in my career and always really making sure that I have my mind straight and the things that I want to do and continue to trust the process. So, uh, you know, I'm still in touch with his family, Tony, he's, uh, he's in New York, his wife, uh, which, like I said, he made a big impact in my career, especially early. You, you own a team that's going to the playoffs, may win the division, you, you set this record. Could you imagine this final year going like this? I mean, I, I, you've played at such a high level for 21 years. Could you have imagined it ending like this with, with so much, so many accomplishments? Uh, you don't, but <laughs> but I think, uh, like I keep continue telling those guys in the clubhouse, continue to trust the process of the work. And God gave us the ability and the talent to play this game every single day. And at the end of the day, our job is to try to come here and do our work. And then if you look at yourself in the mirror and knowing that you have given 110% every day in this game, I mean, and then you look at yourself back when you get to the hotel or your house and you look at yourself before you go to bed and say, you know what, I give 110%. The rest you cannot control. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you're going to make some errors. You're going to learn from that. You're going to learn from a lot of mistakes that you make um, along the way of your career. So, but I think, you know, the best thing <clears throat> that happens when you make this mistake, it makes you a better player, makes you a better person, makes you a better teammate, you know? So I think at the end of the day, it's just, that's how I look at it. Albert, this is kind of full circle for you. You start in St. Louis, you're back in St. Louis, but to be with Yadi and Ben Wainwright, what has that been like this last year? Awesome. <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, still waiting on Wainwright to decide if he's going to retire. No, I'm getting pushing every day. No, I'm, I think he can. Uh, joke aside, I think he can pitch a couple of more years, I think. Uh, but it's, it's just great, you know, just to be back with those two guys, you know, who we have a lot of great success, especially earlier in our career. Uh, but then Skip Schumacher, you know, we're, we're kind of like, all four are kind of the only guys left in uniform from that championship ball club. Mm -hmm. But uh, then you look our manager, you know, I mean, he was the guy that made that call uh, and, and really wanted to talk to me, fill, fill me in, saying, you know what, I, I, I feel that we can use you and believe in me. And you got Mo and the owners, the wed, and, and believe, you know, that I'm able to help this organization. And I was pretty excited. I only had a week. I wish that call could have been a little shorter I mean, <laughs> earlier where I could got ready a little bit and, you know, they only gave me a week. but. You know, it's just amazing to be back here and just uh, to be able to help this ball club, uh, uh, you know, every day, whether it's in the bench or, and just accept my role, you know, that they were giving me. And I think I'm a guy that I believe that when you tell me something in front, I like that. And they told me, listen, this is kind of the role that you're going to play, the same thing that you will do with the Dodgers. We throw you with righties here and there. And, you know, I think I'm done a pretty good job. But I think it's, it's great when you have great people around you that believes in you and that's that's what they they done. Albert, congratulations on the the Cardinals and the Dodgers and Major League Baseball. I'll let you enjoy the evening with your family. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much guys. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Obniel Batista en la máquina deportiva.com